good because we're live, ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, children of all ages. Welcome to Wrestling with Trivia. I'm your host, JP, and Jordan Pearsell, and tonight we have four companions in the ring of fire, uh, or great balls of fire, if you will, former network pay-per-view. Uh, introducing first, he is your current reigning and defending champion because it's a title match, Chris Cass. Sure, why not? Let's go. Uh, you know, shout out to credit cards and other things and wheels his nipples. Speaking of his nipples, ladies and gentlemen, you love him more than just the nipples. It's wheels. What's up? I'm here. Have fun. And not because of the only fans. I'm here to play some wrestling here. <laughs> Coming up next inside the arena, he's in the basement, Hunter Chandless. Yep, Richie still has me in the basement, but I do have a bed now, so that's nice. good. Yeah, um, yeah, so I'm upgraded bed. from the floor. How's it going, guys? Yeah. <laughs> up next is Cultaholic's favorite trivia player, Richie Nemo. Hey, and look, look, if you if you do well at this trivia, Hunter, I'll, I, 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 I might give you a bunk bed. You're going to have a friend over. Ooh. One friend. They're one friend. <laughs> one, he said. One. Yeah. Uh, all right, gentlemen, you know by now how this shiznit works. So let's kick this shiznit. I don't know, I was trying to sound like Road Dog. I don't know. Question number one. Despite only having one defense... Isaiah Swerve Scott held the NXT North American title for over 100 days. What three men had the shortest reigns with that title? Um, Looking for three separate names. Whoever has the most correct gets the point, as always, here in, in the WWT arena. So you're saying that Swerve is like the fourth shortest? No, not even. I wasn't necessarily saying that, actually. I was just kind of making a fact of like he didn't have that bad of a run despite never doing shit with the title. It was really just a separate point that had nothing to do with the question. <laughs> okay. And I was also letting you know the answer is not Swerve. So you have at least one name who the answer is not. Shit. Did you put swerve? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> I was being the funny. Ha ha. He he. A hoo hoo. Ha ha. Had your comedy show go tonight? Good. Yeah, not bad actually. It was actually a pretty good crowd. Uh, it was a venue I did a few years ago. I haven't been there in a while, but uh, yeah. Shout out to Anthony's on the Boulevard, Cape Coral. Wheels only lives ten minutes away, but still didn't show up. I had no idea. He didn't have any shirts. And they had a thanks, shirt for, for thanks for following me on Facebook. Chris knew what I was doing. Well, so I had no ride, so... Excuses, excuses. Your name is Wheels. <laughs> you are a ride. <laughs> All right, uh, let's, let's lock it in, Wheels, mentally, everyone else physically. Everyone good? All right, Wheels, give me three names. Keith Lee. Uh, okay. I had the... All right, Keith Lee, Ricochet, and Gargano. All right, you're one-third of the way there, Chris. I had Gargano, Leon Ruff, and Bronson Reed. Honor. I had Gargano, Damian Priest, and Leon Ruff. And Richie. If you're going to cross and read Leo Roth, Leon Roth. Nice. So Chris and Richie were starting off with points here. It's actually Gargano twice. That's why I try to emphasize um, Gar uh, three men. Because Gargano actually has the top two. And then it's Roth and Preen. <laughs> yeah, because there's, um, there's a whole storyline of him never being able to defend the top, like a title. Yeah. And then he, he lost to Roth. <laughs> All right, question number two. Hey, speaking of Johnny Gargano, he's held numerous tag titles in his career, including 
the Dragon Gate USA tag titles with what current Impact star, and the Chikara tag titles with what current AEW star. So two names. Can I get a repeat? Johnny Gargano has held numerous tag titles, including the DG USA tag titles with what current Impact star, and the Chikara tag titles with what current AEW star. I'm trying to think of that one Dragon Gate show I went to. Who from Impact was on that? Uh, well, yeah. So, AEW and NXT. Nope, never said NXT. Impact and AEW. Okay. Uh, Hey, go. Too much ginger ale. All right, and yeah, I guess I'm I'm on the right path with the Chicago. Chris is in. Chris, are you in? Yeah, I've got two names. I'm wrong. You wait, how many names do you have, Richie? Two. No, oh, yeah, he said three. I'm like, too many. All right, mm-hmm. uh, Wheels, what you got? Two names Trent and Moose. Trent and Moose. All right, uh, Richie. I said Rich Swan and Joey Janela. What you got, Hunter? I said Josh Alexander and Kenny Omega. And Chris. I didn't think of Rich Swan, but I think was he in fist with Chuck Taylor, and then I put Sammy Callahan. Well, we're gonna keep it like before with Chris and Richie getting a point because you're both halfway there. Uh, Rich Swan for Dragon Gate, and when they were Ronin, and Chuck Taylor as Team Fist, winning the Campionas de Parejas. <laughs> the tag titles. Yeah, I, I, I just remember. Not think of Chuck Taylor's name for the life. Yeah. I was like, oh, wrong best friend. <laughs> yeah, the second he said Rich Swan, I was like, right, that's who else was there because Rich Swan nearly died in front of me at a Dragon Gate USA show. Oh God. <laughs> yeah. Chuck Taylor, I believe, was also in that uh, group <laughs> as Ronan. All right. Speaking of Chuck Taylor, what is the name of the match that featured video games? on a March edition of Dynamite that saw Chuck Taylor and Orange Cassidy defeat Miro and Kip Sabian. The and exact name of the match. In. Hunter, what's the answer? You'll find out after you're in. <laughs> I suppose, you know, we'll, we'll contact and get a point. That's cool. <laughs> oh, well. That might be the only point I get. So... Uh. All right, I got something. Where's she in? Uh, hang on. Sad part was, this is one of the few AEW matches I actually watched. <laughs> well, then you should know what it was called. Yeah. My most recent question on here, <laughs> I think. Oh, All right. I, I, I've got an answer. Wheels! Super arcade street fight. <laughs> it's actually not that far off. Chris... <laughs> I put an arcade alley brawl. Not that far off, Hunter. Arcade anarchy. Oh, right on the dot. And Richie. Yeah, I'm probably further off than what all you guys said. Game over, street fight. Right, you're all in video game base. Hunter's though is the only one that got what I was looking for. Arcade anarchy. Number four. Eddie Guerrero is the first WWE United States champion. But who are the next three? Don't curse any wheels. <laughs> Repeat one more time. Eddie Guerrero is the first WWE United States champion. Who tis be the next three? Can you give me a year? Is that? I, I mean, you don't remember when the US title was created in the WWE? I mean, I can just, yeah, I can guess.
I feel like we're in the 03, 04 era. I'm not even sure. I didn't, I didn't even write it out. <laughs> and by the time you get to the four champion, I'm not even sure. We're probably into the next year. That was it. Um, yeah. It's one three, right? No. It's O three. Yes. Uh, the he, next he three. He won it. Was that? I'm trying to remember if something happened the way I think it did or not. Fuck it. Okay, two gems in the bucket. I told you, I'm not the one you're trying to fuck with. Anyone else get really excited when Xbox's F word and his theme song would get through on Raw? Like, eh, F word, no one caught it. I no? actually always preferred like Xbox theme over the actual DX theme. Yeah, I, I like X Factor. <laughs> Oh, not that one. No, you hate X-Factor. Oh, well. You gotta look at me like that. <laughs> I know you hate X-Factor. <laughs> All right, Wheels. All right, RVD. Uh, Jericho. Booker T. Hey, you got one. Richie. I put Big Show, John Cena, Talita. Oh, you got two, Hunter. John Cena, Booker T, and Big Show. Oh, Hunter now, then can Chris. No, oh, because I also put the same as Richie, and I, I was going between Booker T and Carlito, and I just couldn't remember it. Hunter will tie things up with Chris and Richie here. Big Show, John Cena, Booker T. Want to know what's funny, though? Next question. I'm talking about Carlito. <laughs> <laughs> Carlito won the U.S. title on his first night on TV, but he also won the IC title his first night on Raw. From who? And yeah, and I, I just couldn't. I couldn't remember if like the Cena Booker T food, if it, like Booker actually held it or not. But I think Cena lost it at some point and then won it back at No Mercy. Yeah. See, at first I had. Uh, Cena, Booker T, and RVD, and I was like, no, I think Big Show had it before. Yeah, Big Show beat Guerrero, then Cena beat him, and then I, I just I, I, I forgot Booker T held it, and I went right to Carlito. Yeah. 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 Big Show, Cena, vacant, Booker, Cena, Carlito. Right. Yeah, I forgot it was yeah, vacant. Richie, you in? Yeah. Yes. Wheels. Wheels. No, I'm thinking so. Huh. Wheels. Did someone unplug wheels? <laughs> wheels. Now. I remember him breaking his shoulder. <laughs> now. RVD again. Now. Thank you. Chris. Elton Benjamin. Uh, Hunter. I had Ric Flair. Woo, Richie. I just guessed Sean Benjamin. Well, that guess and Chris was correct. <laughs> Number six. Speaking of Shelton Benjamin, <laughs> sorry, sometimes I think these questions work. He held the OVW tag titles with two different people. Name them. OVW uh, making a rare appearance on the show. <laughs> I'm not sure about the second one, but I feel like it was a thing. I don't know the second one. I feel like I feel like it's twelve years. Is, yeah. Mm, I'm pretty like confident on, on one of these, and then the other one. Is I know. I definitely know one of them. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, just because I can't think of anything else. This this might be a a pointer for just getting that first one, unless maybe it counts for someone pulls out second. Yeah, I know. Yeah, because the first one's like, you should know. But then I feel like there's an obvious one that's not it. I, I think I know where you're, you're going with this, Chris. So I'm in the same mindset. But then there's another one I just remember seeing somewhere at one point. Reggie, you got Yeah. Wills, what you got? I'm going to say uh, Charlie Haas and Brock Lesnar. All right. Reggie. I put the same thing, but I'm pretty sure Charlie Haas teamed his brother, so uh, I don't know. Hunter. I also had the exact same thing, Brock Lesnar, Charlie Haas. I think that easy, y'all. Chris. So I had Brock Lesnar and Rodney Mack. Oh, Chris did pull it. 
Ah, Rodney. I believe Pat. they were the dog yeah. pound, if I remember correctly. Nice. Because uh, nice. Charlie Haas teamed with Russ, his brother Russ, and then Rodney. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah they, they were a WWE thing. I don't think they did anything even on even on LVW beforehand. I don't think. I just was his name Rodney Mack at OVW because I thought he was something else, but I was like, he was a Red Dog. Right. Yeah. That, that's that's right. they were yeah. the dog pound. Number seven. Wayne Barrett defeated what three men to win the King of the Ring in 2015? Oh, I told you, Wheels. I told you. This was a lot of multiple <laughs> answers. <laughs> I, yeah. I don't know if it says about a little bit more than WWE that I know answers like from 10, 15 right. years ago right away. And I fucking have no idea beyond five years. I think it's like weird, like maybe because we're younger, maybe because we cared more. No, I'm the same way, man. Like, I'll rattle off every Rumble winner until like the last few. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Yeah. I'm wrong on probably two of these. Oh, well, it's not I, bad. It's cool too. But I have answers. Unless Chris wants to show off again and know about Rodney Mack, which I didn't think anyone was going to do. <laughs> you don't remember Rodney Mack and the White Boy Challenge? Well, yeah, that is a previous. I, that, I think yeah. that straight up is a previous question. I remember about Mac is uh, him coming out with Teddy Long as his yeah. manager. You know yeah, what I remember? And, and then he, and then he kept the theme song after Rodney Mac left. But he comes to Mac Milton. I remember buying an ECW uh, house show on DVD from RF Video, and Rodney Mac's penis getting pulled out of his shorts because of a suplex, and being like, "This is completely uncensored. Why is this on the DVD?" Uh, <laughs> Uh, that's actually might be a future question. The um, what uh, Hunter said, but what was their uh, stable name that was like Teddy Long, Roddy Mack, Mark Henry, and Jazz? Oh, Did, didn't Kristen Winsky show up? Oh, no, yeah, was he awesome. was in it too. Yeah, Kristen Winsky. He was like their Owen Hart. Yeah. <laughs> well, speaking of Owen Hart, Hart, Wheels, what you got? I totally forgot the question now. <laughs> Wayne oh. Barrett, who do you defeat? Three guys to win the King of the Ring 2015. Name three men. Jameis, RVD, Shelton, Benjamin. <laughs> All right. Richie. I said, I, I can't remember. I said Ms. Zach Ryder, don't say that. All right, you got one. Hunter. I said Neville, Xavier Woods, and Sheamus. You got one. Chris. Neville, or truth Ziggler. And Chris showing off once again. All three. All right. <laughs> Don't get mad, Wills. Three answers to this one. Who were the final four? I'm sorry, four answers. I'm done. <laughs> Ella, no, no, no. Oh, 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 whoa. oh, come on. Uh, look. Who were the oh, final yeah. four of the 2003 Royal Rumble? Uh, final four? I, that's what I said. Okay, no, that's good. Okay. Oh, three, right? Uh huh. And and um. Uh. Uh. Alright, I'm not sure about the fourth one, but uh. well, we shall find out, shall we? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I might be the wrong year, but <laughs> oh, that was that was like very uh, what the wheels? Right, Lesnar, Cena, Jericho, Ric Flair, <laughs> Chris. Uh, Undertaker, or Brock Lesnar, Undertaker, Batista, and Kane. Ah, said, hold on, hold on. You said Undertaker twice. Okay, I got you. Right, yeah. uh, Hunter, <laughs> you confused I said me. Lesnar, Taker, Kane, and Austin. I think mine is the wrong year. Uh, uh, where is he? I forgot Batista. I said Batista. I said Brock Lesnar, Undertaker, Kane, RVD. Oh, so close. Chris got it though. Yeah, yeah. I forgot Batista. Was yeah. Mine, two thousand two. Well, no, like, 2002 would have been Triple H, Kurt Angle, Mr. Perfect, Perfect. And, Austin. and Austin. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Well, I don't know what, why I was thinking Lesnar was in that one. 
I just say Lesnar and Austin never touch. Yeah, yeah. Lesnar won the 2003, and then he was, and Undertaker was second. Yeah. And I remember. Okay, so I, I was thinking Undertaker. the right match, wrong competitors. And remember, Undertaker eliminated Kane. Yeah. Um, yeah. Number nine. What kind of match did John Cena and Bray Wyatt have at Payback 2014? I was all ready to say Firefly Fun. Just, you know, Maybe. Uh, and. Because I know they had two, like, gimmick matches, and I can't remember which one it is. So hope I go the right way. Are you thinking, Richie? Yeah. Uh, that is right. Well, a tables match. Richie, did I quit? But I think it's Hunter, the last man standing. And Chris. That's the one I was confused about. I said steel cage. I only Hunter will get that point that time. Last man sh- 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 standing. I knew one was ex- one extreme was extreme rules. rules. Yeah, one was extreme rules and one was payback, and I couldn't remember which one was oh, which. Oh, 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 yes. point for that where, where the shit comes at. Well, like, it goes, uh, uh, anyway. All right. <laughs> hey y'all. Oh Question number ten is who this? <laughs> and. and. My God. <laughs> Look at that. I give up. <laughs> uh, I have an answer. Wills, don't give up. Give me a name. I knew his name afterwards, but. Yeah, I do need this particular gimmick. I can't even. I don't remember. I have to pass. Chris. Freyer Ferguson. Hunter. Yeah, nothing. You said you had a guess. What was it? Lord Fryer. Hey, all right. It's not that bad. So you may seem like you're far off. Huh, Richie. Fryer Ferguson. All right. Richie and Chris. <laughs> you were thinking I feel like me and Booger Chris are very knowledgeable around the same sort of era. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. We don't got a movie question this week, but we got a television question this week. Who plays Tim Robinson's dad? Who they have to return to the loony bin in the Comedy Central show Detroiters. Detroiters. Detroiters currently found on Paramount Plus. Highly recommended by this guy. <laughs> I, I do remember that show being on, but <laughs> it lasted it. two seasons. <laughs> yeah, repeat the question. Who plays Tim Robinson's dad? Who they have to return to the loony bin in the Comedy Central show Detroiters. Return to the loony bin. I'm not even sure when this show came out, so I'm I'm completely lost. It's it's um last five years, I'd say. Tim Robinson's already old, isn't he? Wasn't he the guy that see the guy was in Shawshank? No, no. Tim Robbins. Uh, Tim Robbins. That's Tim Robbins. Oh, I'm sorry. Tim see, that's how much I know about movies. Tim Robinson is 40. Okay. This show was released in 2017-2018, let's say. All right. Uh, I changed my answer. <laughs> and, uh, oh, uh, I'm, I'm thinking it's not Captain New Albano then. Shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> damn it. Uh, oh, shit. Um, uh, no. Uh, uh, shit. Uh, sure. Uh, God. See the Tim and Eric show guy? Nope. That's uh, Tim Heidecker. Uh, this guy, his biggest claim, he was an SNL guy for like a couple seasons. 
Okay. And he does have his own Netflix show now too. Uh, thank you for oh. leaving. I think you oh, should. Leave. I have. I have seen that. Yeah. I don't know. Possible future question, Brody King's on that show. (laughs) (laughs) Now you know the answer is not Brody King. You're welcome. I wonder if any of them are right. <laughs> we'll see. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep myself one of the right. Anyway. Wills, I know you're a big Detroiters fan. Who was it? I'm just gonna say Ric Flair because it's gonna be funny. Woo! Uh, Chris. Oh, I, said oh, oh. I don't even think he was acting then. Hunter. I also said Ric Flair. Woo! Woo! Richie. This is definitely wrong. I went quite young. I went big show. All right. What was your other guess? Uh, Jesse Ventura. Other guess. Uh, I had uh, MVP at one point. And Tony other Atlas. guess. Tony Atlas. <laughs> Any more? I'm looking for Kevin Nash. Okay. Yeah. Did he tear I, his quads in an episode? Uh, oh, he did. He does drive away on a uh, Vespa scooter at the end of the episode. Because he's still crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Number 12. The Filthy Animals defeated Vampiro and who at Fall Brawl 99? So looking for two people. Up next, we have a deep cut Ring of Honor question. I hope y'all are ready. Uh Oh, I'm gonna hold my shirt. Oh, new shirt. Damn it. Wheels, you owe me a shirt. You're looking for two people, Yes, sir. Six man tag. The Filthy Animals defeated Vampiro and who at Fall Brawl 99. Uh, and then keep myself one All right, I'm in. I'm wrong, but I'm in. Maybe you're right. I believe in you. Hmm. The name of my sex tape. I'm wrong, but I'm in. Oh, oh, what? Oh, no. Wouldn't that, wouldn't, wouldn't that like imply that you're committing a crime, Jesus? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think you want that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wrong, but I'm in. <laughs> Life before jail. Hunter family. <laughs> Richie, you good? Yeah. Wheels. I'm gonna say ICP. Richie. Yes, said shaking two up and bottom J. And uh, Hunter. I said the demon and Daphne. And Chris. ICP. ICP. Whoop whoop. Oh, Wait, I, of course I, I, was. I get my first point with my I can of Fago. I had a can of Fago somewhere, but uh, I, I, yes. I, uh, I had great mood today on right across the map because I knew he was part of my uh, <laughs> Name the members of the Backseat Boys who were former Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions. The fuck? Come on, Wheels. I know you own DVDs with these people. (laughs) My second point. I've seen your collection. There's three of them? I never said three. I said two. Ooh. Tag team champions. Did I say a free bird rule? Come on, man. <laughs> Repeat the question, please. Name the members of the backseat boys who are former Ring of Honor tag team champions. I gotta guess. Uh, 
Okay, good, good guess. It's wrong. Yeah, I'm completely wrong. Like, completely wrong. Wheels. Bright acid, Johnny Cashmere. Oh man, Dad, Richie. I had trent acid in my head actually, but no, I said red tires and chuck Taylor. <laughs> oh, Hunter. Uh, I had Sa- Sanjay Dutt and Loki. Just one team, Chris. I did have trent acid, but I put Julio De Niro. Oh yeah, he's like only the wheels that time. He had both trent acid, Johnny Cashmere. R.I.P. Trent oh, Acid. No idea. Uh, yes, R.I.P. to Trent. Number fourteen. What current indie wrestler and current retired wrestler won the Chris Candido Memorial Tag Team Tournament in TNA in 2005? I do know this. One's on the indies currently. One's currently retired. Hasn't wrestled in a couple years. I'm in. Cass is in. Oh, yeah. Uh... I used to know this. <laughs> Read the question. What, what current indie wrestler and current retired wrestler won the Chris Candido Memorial Tag Team Tournament in TNA in 2005? Current indie wrestler. Up next, Chris's favorite, more TNA. Oh. TNA champion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. Impact Trump is here. Oh, uh, I can't think of it. It's amazing. All trivia matches are certainly my 60 minute adrenaline rush. Adrenaline rush, adrenaline rush, rush. Let me tell you it's amazing. Uh, All right, I'm in. Okay. You in, Reggie? Um, hang on. I think I may have one, but. We shall find out. Uh, All right, wheels. This came to me. I'm probably wrong, but Shocker and Alex Shelley. Uh, let's see, Richie. Said Jerry Lynn and Loki. What you got, Hunter? Said X Pac and Pete Williams. <laughs> What'd you say, Chris? On Waltman and Alex Shelley. Oh, I was say, uh, Dustin and Hunter were halfway there. Chris got all the way there, though. Alex Shelley and Sean Waltman. Um, I, I uh, Wheels, uh, don't feel too bad. I believe Shocker made it to the finals with uh, Chris Saban. Yeah, I was going to say, I want to say Saban. Yeah, yeah. so like, you, you actually probably had the match in mind, but uh, just mix up some teams. Please show him what one's coming out. He wants to come out of his Pretty sure he's coming. He's talking about it at length. Pretty sure, like right after he got fired for no showing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Didn't he like no show the mm-hmm. title match or something? I believe like, so. Yeah. yeah. I think the whole point of the tournament ended up not really happening because uh, he no showed and they fired him. Yeah. All right, y'all. Yeah, number fifteen. What current Impact star made his first appearance all the way back in two thousand and four? First in an explosion tag match, and his second appearance being in the 20-man gauntlet at Victory Road under a different name. Uh, repeat that. It's, it's the longest question of the night. I have to actually maximize my notepad to see all the words. What current Impact star made his first appearance in Impact slash DNA back in 2004? First in an explosion tag... And then his second appearance being in the 20 man gauntlet at Victory Road under a different name. Where are you, Michael Turner? I mean, what do you mean? The TNA champs right here, man. Chris Cass. Yeah. Hello. This is a A former TNA champ. (laughs) This is a deep, deep cut. I'm not yeah. gonna act like I'm confident in my answer. I am not. I'm not either. Um, okay, can we just come on? Come can I have one more time, please? What current impact star made his first appearance all the way back in 2004? First in a tag match on explosion, and then his second appearance 
being the 20 man gauntlet at Victory Road under a different name. And those were his like only two appearances till he gets signed to his current contract kind of thing? No, I'm sorry. I did not, I did not mean to imply that at all. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't reply because I would have checked first two appearances. I'm just saying, like, it's for the first time. Oh, man. Why can't I think of, like, anyone? I lock it in, Chris. Uh, let's, sure, whatever. This is completely wrong, but let's go with it. Wheels! I got her pass. I'm sorry. Ooh, Richie. Uh, Eric Young. Ooh, Hunter. I said Pete Williams. Ooh, Chris. I said Spanky, but he's not even there right now. Ooh, no. A dirty sweep looking for T.J. Perkins. T.J.P. when he was Puma. Right. Has oh, been around right. since 2004. Wow. Yeah. As an Eric Young and Petey Williams, don't forget I said different name too. So, what would they have been? I didn't know if they had a previous. That's true too. They maybe they had something else different for a short. Yeah, that's true. Super Eric. <laughs> that was later. All right. Who did CM Punk defeat for his only Intercontinental title, and who did he lose it to? I like these. I might do more of these. Who did he lose to? Two answers you're looking for? Yeah. Who did he defeat to win the IC title? And who defeated him to win the IC title? Coming up next, we have Greg Cherry's favorite kind of round, more Rumble stuff. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Chris Cass's favorite trivia player. Certainly. Greg Cherry has not beaten me in over 4,000 days. (laughs) Still calls himself the greatest wrestling trivia mind in the world, even though he can't beat me. (sighs) It's really small parentheses on the bottom right. It says except for Chris Gass. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, Mike, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I ran his ass out of here. <laughs> That's going to be your future question. Which wrestling trivia uh, champion had a cup of tea in wrestling with trivia before being <laughs> embarrassed by Chris Gass? And oh God, I'm not good. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Richie, you in? Yeah. Wheels. Kofi and the Miz. Kofi and Miz, Chris. William Regal and JBL. Hunter. William Regal and JBL. And Richie. I didn't get those two. I said Ezekiel Jackson and Kofi Kingston. And who? Kofi Kingston. All right. Give him a Chris and Hunter. Chris at double digits. Number 17. Hey, speaking of JBL, he made one more appearance in a match after retirement. When he appeared in what year's Rumble? Okay, that was. Match appearance, obviously, by the way, is what I'm saying. That was more of a stinker than I thought. So just the year, right? Yeah, just the year. Okay. All right. After he retired, his only other match technically is this rumble. What year? Oh, I, was, I wasn't paying attention. Everyone good? Good. Uh, <laughs> Wills, are you ready? 14. Uh, what you got, uh, Chris? It said 2012. John Hunter? 
That's a 2011. And Richie. Let's say 14. Yeah, 14's right. <gasps> Wills and Richie. Hey, speaking of, just kidding. Antonio Cesaro made his pay per view debut, defeating who? And Night of Champions 2012. That one guy. That is correct. I just need that one guy's name. Up next, we go over to Evolve. Yeah! Evolve question. Ooh, I'm getting that wrong. Uh, <laughs> me too. Uh, Uh, I don't know, I can't remember. All right. Wheels. Safe bet, Kofi Kingston. Richie. Safe bet, kind of, sometimes. Miz. Ooh, Hunter. I said Santino Morella. And Chris. I also said Santino. Yeah, ah, you know, I have a feeling I know what you all did, because it's Zack Ryder. Santino is a pre-show, I think. Okay. It is, yeah. So, because yeah, I think that's actually he wins the title, does he not? Yeah, he, he wins the title yeah. on the kickoff, yeah. Number 19, NXT's Joe Gacy held the evolved tag titles with what current AEW star? Everyone needs to watch more of all, evidently. My board is going to But then again, the company's dead, so I guess it don't matter. I just got to connect the dots. About They're bringing it back. You think so? Yeah. What do you think about XPW coming back? You don't care. <laughs> I mean, like, we'll see, man. Like, we'll see if it actually sticks around. Like, it's, it is, it's Rob Black again. Um, yeah, I don't. If like it was cheaper, I'd be into it. Want to go have these? Want to go have these wheels and watch it? <laughs> no. <laughs> obviously, you're obviously you're not excited. You're, okay, you're really wheels, yeah, put this, yeah, put I, this I, on I the poster. <laughs> uh, I'm not a fan of Rob Black. Uh, I'm not a fan of Rob Huff. Wheels gets it. Wheels, what's the answer? It's Eddie Kingston. Chris. Yeah, I said Trent. Trent? Hunter. <laughs> John Moxley. And Reggie. I said Matt Seidel. Eddie Kingston. Wheels had it. They were called the Unwanted. The Unwanted. Hey, y'all, final question of the night. Worth the whopping one point. Who defeated John Morrison in his final WWE match in 2011 before returning in a Falls Count Anywhere match? Yeah, one more time, please. Who defeated John Morrison in his final WWE match in 2011 before returning, obviously, in a Falls Count Anywhere match? This is actually a really great match. I remember watching this. It's a good match? Is that what you said? Yeah. Ah. I'm guessing he knows it, y'all. <laughs> That's Chris's way of saying, I've got to know the points, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, I have an answer. I've got to know the bunch of coconuts. They are standing in a row. Everyone's fall. So All right. Uh, Wheels. You have Hardy? Mm, Reggie. I said Ben, he's better. Hunter. I said Ray Mysterio. And Chris, what is the answer? It was for the WWE Championship against The Miz. It was indeed his partner today, The Miz. I was thinking The Miz. That was too obvious, I thought. I know, I kind of did it on purpose. And your winner! <laughs> and so oh, good, w, WT champion with 11 points on the board. Chris Cass coming in at six. Richie Hunter was four. And Dustin pulling up with four in the end as well. Chris any parting words, plugs, and most importantly, your favorite Joe Gacy match? I don't think I've ever seen a Joe Gacy match, but... Uh, Tomasa Chamblin for this week? Uh, 
Or last week? I, I no, I watched the main event of NXT this week. <laughs> Uh, other than that, yeah, you know, it was a good time. I like doing these these battle royals. Thanks for letting me play as long as I put the title on the line, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> I, I didn't even ask anymore. I'm just, I just, you know, yeah, no one said anything, so I put you in it. <laughs> yeah, why not? Thanks, Richie coming in. Very, very good six pointer. Obviously, it was a little bit of a, of a hard game. Even the champ only scoring 11. So six, very, very comparable. So I don't think comparable is a word, but I just made it up. Uh, any plugs, parting words, and most importantly, your favorite Matt Cardona match? Hey, uh, 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 yeah, no, I, I had fun. I, I, I was aiming for second, achieved that. Cool. Uh, yeah, no, this is this, this good. Uh, plugs, I don't really have a lot coming up. Uh, I'm sure I'll be on this channel. Uh, you know, I, I sign up to the channel every time you put a thing up. So maybe, you know, I, I guess if we got something like this week, I'll be on there. Uh, and my favorite Matt Cardona match. Um, I'll say that I, I, I can't remember what it is, but his uh, sort of early feud when he became to see an impact with, you know, he was feuding with uh, Brian Myers. Uh, and uh, yeah, like their the matches have been pretty good, actually. So I can't remember exactly. Is it the, there's one at a, uh, is it emergence or something? I think, I don't know, there was one, I can't, I can't remember that. Baby use all 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 to one for me. So, but yeah, one of their matches in two, uh, this year. <laughs> Wheels also good stuff. Uh, Bob for Glory is this Saturday. Will you order it so I can come over? And he plugs parting words and your favorite Alex Shelley match. Well, I already got plans Saturday, so I'm sorry. Son of a bitch, standing me up. <laughs> uh, what was the other question? Uh, will, Shelley match. will you still order it and I can just come to your house anyway and your favorite Alex Shelley match? Favorite Alex Shelley match? Probably the one with Shocker. I like him <laughs> in Shocker together. <laughs> um, him and, of course, Saban one-on-one is pretty fun watching, so. Um, I had fun. I wish I had more like answers, but you had some good steals though, man. I, I love I love your deep cut steals. You had you had at least two nice steals that no one else had. Yeah. Thank you, Trent Acid. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny Casmer. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I always have fun regardless of me normally coming last place, but always a fun time with you guys. So thank you. Absolutely, absolutely. Hunter, uh, you had about four minutes to prep. Uh, <laughs> so, any parting words, plugs, and your favorite ICP match? Um, I I do not know. I Say, say Mike Awesome. Mike Awesome. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, guys, this is go fun. Go watch it. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to watch it. Uh, yeah, guys, this is fun. I got some, uh, some pretty, pretty good answers out there. Uh, Arcade Anarchy one of my shining moments here, but um, yeah, guys, it's fun as always. As always, ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe, tell a friend, tell an enemy. For Wills, Chris, Hunter, Richie, me, we love you more than you'll ever know. Whoop, whoop. Drink Fago.